Now in past videos, I've had a heck of a lot of fun with Havoc fires. Or Vulcans if you're from that part of the world. All late is IMR. So we've managed to cram it about five, five and a half-ish belts worth into this box. Ago, I saw something on Britnerf which could revolutionise the Havoc fire forever. To the untrained eye, it may just look like someone simply taken a long strike barrel and stuffed it into the barrel of a Havoc fire. But it's not quite as simple as that. All Havoc fires are not equal. Check it out. The front of this Havoc fire doesn't have something that this one does. Interesting though. Let's just put that up there so you can see they're both the same. And the silencer will fit into that type of Havoc fire. But not that one, or at least it's a much tighter fit. Now that we've got that introduction out of the way, let's consider the tactical implications. The fact that the stampede shield is in fact too wide to fit on the Havoc fire, oh no, without hacking and slashing, is no longer an issue. Perfect fit. In fact, there is nothing now stopping you from having a double shield on your Havoc fire. And a handle. Want your handle offset to the side? No problem. Full 360 degree rotation. If you've ever been bothered by the fact that it's only possible to fit three scopes on your Havoc Fire, then your wait is over. You can even choose between funky night vision thing scope and double scope range finderage thing. Tactics, my metaphorical brother, tactics. Is handle not enough for you? Another three handles not enough for you? I don't think they can handle this. Woo! Fail. Hasbro wish they thought of this. Ever seen soldiers in films rolling along the ground, firing at the same time, getting every shot on target? This is how they do it. One stand not enough for you? Complete and utter stability at any angle. You can fill a whole havoc fire belt with that. Close quarters is long range. Don't ever say just a gel doesn't make his contribution to the world. Oh no, need to go on my side. My favourite application of this new technology has got to be the ability to go from holding it upright and firing. To laying it on the bipod, on its side, and keeping on going. Just takes the Havoc fire to a whole new level, really. So that just goes to show that you simply can't keep a good blaster down. And for anyone who is starting to think that the Havoc fire or Vulcan is a little bit obsolete, I guess it's time to think again. One, two, three, four, five attachment points definitely gives the Havoc fire a greater capacity to be customised than any other Nerf blaster I'm aware of. Even without duct tape. Plus this top tactical rail is actually pretty long, so really it's six. Plus this barrel is going to improve the ranges by like 600 meters, and I should imagine it goes up to like 900 FPS now. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, please like and subscribe, and I hope this has inspired you to go and give your Havoc Fire a new lease of life. Yeah.